Hello friends, Monica here from Wicked Aviary and joining me today is Krampus. So in part one we made those awesome horns and uh, today I will show you how I made the mask. And at the uh, end of the video, uh, again some troubleshooting and tips and um, let's go make a mask. Do you have anything to say? Okay, so for the mask, I used aluminum foil, masking tape, uh, paper, uh, like newspaper and some cardboard, re regular glue and uh, paper clay and also some, uh, what is it, 18 gauge wire. Now we need uh, a mask. So if you have one, great, use that. I don't, so I had to make one. So I uh, just use uh, aluminum foil. Um, depending how thick your um, aluminum foil is, this is two, I think this, this is three layers. Just press it to your face and then you add um, masking tape to strengthen it. And uh, while you do that, you can keep pressing it onto your face. I actually I showed this on uh, my first video I ever made, uh, the Gilded Blake Doctor. Um, and then um, strengthen it with just uh, newspaper and glue. So you just add glue and paste newspaper on and then you end with a still flexible yet stronger mask you can work on. Okay, so now that we have a base mask and uh, maybe just some explanation here, I pulled it over the head because the horns are going to be sitting on here but the bottom part I, I kind of leave um, open I don't close it on the chin because this is going to be elongated with the beard or something and uh, it's I think it's going to be also more comfortable to wear now to give it a little bit more um, support here so it doesn't bend out of shape when I put the, the clay on um, I hope to control it a little bit with the wire so I put the a wire around it here just tape it on with masking tape so now with the wire in place it gives me some flexibility over the shape of the mask here now I'm going to cut out the eyes and uh, then let's give this uh, mask some uh, character Okay, so my horns are on and now I am going to give it a, a stronger base here with just glue and newspaper. So we do some paper mache. Okay, what's next? So I've been procrastinating because uh, I'm a little bit uh, scared that I cannot uh, make this thing really scary so then I try to avoid it but uh, no no avoidance and I just figured well look at your own scary face so see where the the muscles go where the when you grin how everything kind of works so I'm gonna add a little bit more paper here and um, before I add the paper clay So 
I don't know if this is scary enough, but uh, it will have to do because I am out of time. I'm going to have to start painting now. Okay, so I think he is done until I change my mind. But uh, so in order to put it on, I just put the, um, a piece of fabric here I had. You can put an elastic, uh, attach it to the mask and then it just goes over your face. And now uh, I want to add some hair or fur, fur I should say. And I have a piece here I've had for years and I thought let's glue this on and see how it works. And if it's no good we can always rip it off. So here we are. Crump is all done. So this is the troubleshooting section. I didn't really have too much trouble. The only difficult part was the drying time because this is a big piece. I cannot just put it in the oven. And so I put it in front of a heater to just speed it up a little bit. And just don't uh, put too much uh, clay on at once. It just takes longer to dry. Just kind of do it in stages. And uh, otherwise, uh, I, uh, I'm quite happy with this project. Um, and I am so happy, all the people who are subscribing and commenting, please let me know if there's anything you want me to make. Because sometimes I just have no idea and I appreciate it. Like this person said, I want Krampus. Like, yay, I make it for you. Here we go. This is Monica from Wicked Aviary. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, let's get together very soon.